For distance P1, P2, we have the given coordinates. For point 1, we have R1 equal 5 and theta 1 equal 135. And for point 2, R, R2 is equal to uh, 5 and theta 2 is equal to negative 45. Plugging in the given coordinates in this formula, so we have uh, D square is equal to R1 square plus R2 square minus twice the product of R1 and R2 multiplied by cosine of theta 2 minus theta 1. So we have R1 is equal to 5 and raise it to square plus R2 which is 5 and raise it to square minus twice the product of R1 which is 5 multiplied by R2 which is also 5 and multiplied by cosine of the difference of theta 2 minus theta 1 and that is theta 2 we have negative 45 minus theta 1 which is uh, 135 simplifying the equation we have 5 square is equal to 25 plus 5 square is equal to 25 minus the product of 2 5 and 5 so we have negative 50 so cosine of the difference of 45 and 135 and that is negative 45 plus negative 135 is negative 180 simplifying it again so we have 25 plus 25 so we have 50 minus 50 and cosine of negative 180 is equal to a uh, negative 1 so we have uh, 50 negative 50 times negative 1 so we have positive 50 so we have 50 plus 50 is equal to 100 getting the square root so we have the distance of p1 to p2 is equal to 10 units next is the distance from p2 to p3 so we have the given coordinates here so for point 2, we have the given R2, which is 5, and theta 2 is negative 45. And for point 3, we have uh, R3 equal negative 10, and for theta 3, we have negative 225. Plugging in the given coordinates in this formula again, so we have D square equal R1, R2 square plus R3 square minus twice the product of R2 and R3 cosine of theta 2 minus theta 3. Okay, so we have R2, R2 is 5 and raise it to square plus R3, we have negative 10 and raise it to square minus twice the product of R2 which is 5 multiplied by R3 which is negative 10 cosine of uh, theta 2 is negative 45 minus theta 3 which is negative 225 times negative so we have positive 225 okay so we have uh, 5 square so we have 25 plus negative 10 square so we have positive 100 minus twice the product of 5 times uh, negative 10 so we have positive 100 okay and cosine of uh, 225 minus 45 and it happens to be uh, 180 so that is 180 and then 25 plus 100 is equal to 125 plus 100 and cosine of 180 is equal to negative 1. And simplifying it again, we have 125 plus 100 times negative 1. So we have negative 100. Okay. So get the difference. 125 minus 100 is equal to 25. Extracting the square root again to obtain the distance from P2 to P3. So the distance from P2 to P3 is equal to square root of 25 which is 5 units. 
we have the last distance P1 to P3. Given the uh, following coordinates, for point 1, we have R1 equal 5 and theta 1 equal 135 degree. And for point 3, R3 equal negative 10 and theta 3 equal negative 225. Plugging in the coordinates in the given formula, so we have uh, D square equal R1 square plus R3 square minus twice of the product of R1 and R3 multiplied by cosine of theta 1 minus theta 3. So we have R1 which is 5 and raise it to square plus R3 uh, we have a negative 10 raise it to square minus twice the product of R1 which is 5 multiplied by R3 which is negative 10 multiplied by cosine of theta 1 which is 135 minus negative 225 times negative so we have positive 225 for the theta 3 equal 25 negative 10 square so we have positive 100 negative 2 multiplied by pi by negative 10 so we have positive 100 cosine of 135 plus 225 is 360 25 plus uh, 100 is equal to 125 plus 100 cosine of 360 is positive 1 so we have 125 100 by 1 so we have uh, 100 and then 125 plus 100 is equal to 225 finding the distance of point 1 to point 3 so we have the uh, square root of 225 which is uh, 15 units Summarizing the value of its distance, so we have the distance from P1 to P2 equal 10 units, the distance from P2 to P3 equal 5 units, the distance from P1 to P3 equal 15 units. Now the points are in straight line if the sum of the two shorter distance P1, P2 plus the distance P2, P3 is equal to the distance from P1 to P3. So we have the value of P1, P2 which is uh, 10 units plus the value of the distance P2, P3, 5 units and the value of the distance P1, P3 is 15 units. Summing these two numbers, so we have 15 equal 15. Since uh, distance P1, P2 plus P2, P3 equal the distance from P1, P3, therefore we can say that P1, P2 and P3 are in straight line or collinear. Okay, that's all about for the second part. Now if you learned something in this tutorial video, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions related to this topic, Leave it in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, do consider subscribe and click the notification bell so you may have some update of my upcoming video tutorial. Again, this is Reda Lope. Thanks for watching. May the Lord God bless us all.